Hey guys, it's me Lunar. Welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this one, I'll be showing you guys how to get all 28 in-game player perks, 26 if you don't have the special edition of the game. They are gained by crafting all trinkets and talismans, which will require you to kill all legendary animals and collect some unique items along the way in order to craft them. Plus, you will have to complete all 90 in-game challenges to get the Legend of the East outfit, but I will be going over challenges in their own videos. There are only 27 perks listed in the menus, but the Legend of the East outfit gives you 7 perks and there's only 6 listed for some reason, so you will see 27 when there in fact is 28. All 28 of these perks improve health, stamina, deadeye, and overall gameplay in some way, and I've listed everything you need to know in the description including what each perk does along with timestamps for each legendary animal and all unique items as well. If the video is helpful, a like is appreciated. To get the legendary animals is easy but just time consuming. The first legendary animal I'm collecting in the game is the legendary moose. I will go over the steps for this one and you can do the rest on your own, but I will show you the locations of where to start. Travel to the location on the map I show you right here. When you're in the right spot, in the top left corner, it will come up saying you are in Legendary Animal Territory, which I assume you guys have seen before. That part is required for the animal clues to show up, however. Once it does, use your eagle vision to look around the area and you will spot the three yellow clues. They also show on your minimap as a small question mark. For the moose, it was to find tree rubbings, dung and fur. Each clue points to the next. After the third clue, the animal will show up close by and you simply need to kill and skim the animal. Now, once you skin the animal, the moose here, for example, gives you the legendary moose antler, which you need to craft the moose antler trinket. The legendary moose palette can be taken to the trapper to create legendary moose moccasins and jacket, so you can make sure to keep that. Take your palettes and sell them to the trapper so you don't take up space, and then you're ready to move on to the next animal. So now I will show you guys the location of the first clue and skip to me skinning the animal, as you know what to do now. Before you start, one problem you will come across, if the legendary animal or the clues don't show up where I say they are, or you're in legendary territory but the message doesn't appear, then you will have to leave and come back a few days later. This happened to me for the legendary ram, white bison and tatanka bison, but I just left the area and camped for a few days, or returned to the closest town and slept for a few days. The best thing to do is to move on to the next animal if you have them, and then sleep for a few days while you're there, because you have to go away from the area in order for the legendary animals to spawn. But you'll probably come across this problem, as it seems to happen to most people. Another thing you should know, if you're killed by one of the legendary animals, like the bear for example, you'll have to go away and sleep for a couple of days for the clues to come back, so make sure you remember that. Next then we will take a look at the location of the legendary bear. After all the animals we will then check out the rest of the items needed. So I'm just going to show you me getting all of these in game. So guys, now we have most of our legendary animals, but four of them you may not be able to get yet. The legendary panther requires you to finish all 10 master hunter challenges, the legendary panther being challenge number 10, and does not show up in the game until then. Check out my video for that for help, 
But once you're on Challenge 10, go to where I am on the map beside Braithwaite Manor and you will find the panther there. The final three I will show you cannot be collected until the prologue as they are in New Austin. So you may want to move on, do some of the other things and then come back for these at the end. So now we have all of our legendary animal items, or most of them, you can then start to collect other items you need to craft the trinkets and talismans. We're going to start with the lion's paw. This item is found on the lion at the end of the stranger mission, he's British of course. You start the mission by talking to the stranger found between Emerald Station and Rhodes in an overturned circus caravan any time after chapter 3. After you talk to the owner, you need to complete different missions to help find their missing zebra, tiger and lion. The final part of the mission is to kill the lion. When it's dead, be sure to loot it for the lion's paw, as it is missable if you don't pick it up, and that is all you need to do. The mission though is easy, and it shouldn't take too long. Next, the old brass compass found in Francis Sinclair's cabin after you find all 10 rock carvings on the map. I'm not going to show you the location of all 10, as there are literally tons of guides already online for that, but I will show you the map here of all 10 locations. After you collect all 10, you can post them to Frank Sinclair at the post office, and then wait 24 hours to get your rewards. One of the rewards will be an invitation to his cabin, after you go through his cabin, there's a cutscene and the compass will be found inside of his cabin on the table. Next, we will get the Civil War handcuffs. You need to find all 144 cigarette cards in order to get this. And I have gone over this in another video, but basically the quickest way to get all 144, and it should only take around 10 minutes and cost you $2,000, is to simply purchase some from general stores. As you can see in the video, I do just that. It is tedious, but after you collect all 144, you can travel to the post office and send them in. Wait 24 hours again and you will get the rewards, including the Civil War handcuffs. You can spend a long time collecting all these in the game world, but it just doesn't seem worth the time. The next item we need is the quartz chunk, and we get this from collecting just one of the dinosaur bones in game. I've marked the location of the first one, although you probably have already seen one already. Study it and then travel to the post office again to send in the letter. Wait 24 hours and return for your reward, which will be the quartz chunk. Next, we will get the Cobalt Petrified Wood and Abalone Shell Fragment. They're located on the map in the game world, so you can get them anytime after Chapter 2. The Cobalt Petrified Wood is just north of Mount Hagen, across Isabella Lake. Under a small cliff, there is a chest with the Petrified Wood. The Shell Fragment is in an abandoned house in Rhodes. Just north of the Shadow's office, there is a house and it's just sitting inside of a small workshop. So guys, we are on to our final item for the game. However, if you've done everything in the video already, then you should have everything you need to craft all the talismans and trinkets. This final one itself is actually a trinket, so no crafting required you get as a reward for one of the missions in game, but it is missable, so be careful. To get, you need to complete the quest Archaeology for Beginners in Chapter 6 without killing anyone. But in order to do this, you will first need to accept the mission during the mission A Rage Unleashed. If you don't accept the mission, then this mission won't become available, and then of course you will miss the Owl Feather Trinket. So when asked to, help Rains fall to unlock archaeology for beginners, and then you are ready to start the quest. Now to get the Owl Feather Trinket, again, this part is missable, because you have to play the mission a certain way. Simply play through the mission without killing any guards, and you will be rewarded with the trinket in the end. 
To do this, you can either sneak, although it does take a while, or you can simply use some health and run in and get out before you die. Either way, as long as you don't kill anyone, you'll be rewarded with the missable Owl Feather Trinket. Well guys, we are finally ready to craft all of our trinkets and talismans at the fence. There should be 18 altogether to craft. The final three are the Owl Feather, which we already covered, and the Iguana Scale and Eagle Talon Talisman, which are given as part of the Ultimate Edition. To get the final perks, all we need to do now is finish all 90 in-game challenges, which is actually quite difficult to do, as the final perks are given to you by the Legend of the East outfit, which is given as a reward for completing all the challenges. However, I am working on videos for those next. I already did the Master Hunter, but I will work on the other eight giving any tips that you need for some of the more difficult parts of those. Guys, a tough one to get, but hopefully this helps you out and make sure you don't miss any of those items as a few are missable for the in-game perks. They don't count towards your 100% achievement, but they are very useful to have. Don't forget to subscribe and notifications on so you don't miss any of my Red Dead videos, including all the latest Red Dead Online updates. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.